friends welcome back to my youtube channel unlock your learning today i am going to teach you all about the problem sums of class 6th ncert chapter 3 exercise 3.7 questions 1 and 2 so friends without wasting any time let's get started so first we are going to take question 1 so let's see what does question 1 says it says that Renu purchases two bags of fertilizers of weight seventy-five kg and sixty-nine kg. So what Renu purchases? She purchases two bags of fertilizers of weight seventy-five kg and sixty-nine kg. Now find the maximum value of weight which can. measure the weight of the fertilizers exact number of times so this is the question so first friends you need to understand that what are they asking for to us to do so they are saying that find the maximum value of weight which can measure the weight of these two values this is 75 kg and this is 69 kg so value of weight which can measure these two values exactly that value we have to find okay to find here we are getting the word maximum so what does maximum means another word for maximum is highest and what is highest yes of course you must have got it that is highest common factor that is the hcf that means here we need to find the HCF of seventy-five and sixty-nine. So let's find the HCF. Seventy-five and sixty-nine. So look for the common divisor here. There is a common divisor that is three. So seventy-five will go twenty-five times by three, and sixty-nine will go twenty-three times by three. Now we have got two more numbers that are twenty-five and twenty-three. So what is the common divisor here? Check. Well, there is no common divisor because here twenty-five is there and uh, sorry, twenty-three is there and twenty-three is a prime number. That means it will have factors twenty-three and one only. So there will be no common factor now. That means we need to stop here. We don't have any common factor. That means we need to stop here. And now we have got only one number that is three. So the HCF will be. HCF will be HCF will be three. All right. Now we have got the HCF. So now what we have to do? Now we you have got the HCF. So HCF which is here that is the value. But not three will be the value. It will be three kgs because a unit is also given here that is kgs. That means three will be in kg. That means Answer will be three kg. All right, so the answer is three kg. I can prove you also see. So take these two numbers and your divisor. So first multiply twenty five by three. So see three into twenty five. That will give you what? Yes, it will give you seventy-five. So this will give us seventy-five. That means if you take three twenty-five times, then it will measure seventy-five kg exact number of times. Now sixty-nine is there, so under sixty-nine is twenty-three. That means we need to multiply three by twenty-three. So see, when you multiply three by twenty-three, what you get? You get sixty-nine. Okay, that means 
here if you take 3 23 times then you will get 69 that means 3 will also measure 69 kg exact number of time so now let's see the next question friends now let's see the next question so the next question says that three boys step off together from the same spot their steps measure 63 centimeter 70 centimeters and 77 centimeters respectively so three boys step off together from the same spot and their steps measure 63 centimeter 70 centimeter and 77 centimeter respectively now what is the minimum distance each should cover so that all can cover the distance in complete steps now you need to understand the question that what it says so it's saying that what is the minimum distance the smallest distance that each should cover a smallest distance that each should cover so that they all cover the same distance in complete steps you can understand simply as it means that what is the distance that all of these three boys need to cover a common distance okay now what we have to do here is that th now see we have a word given here that is minimum all right in the previous question it was maximum now it is minimum so what minimum means yes minimum means small and here you see we have to find the common distance so common distance that should be big, bigger than these three numbers so that should be big only and lcm so that here now we need to find the lcm that is the least common multiple and minimum means smallest and smallest means least and least is least common multiple that means we need to find the lcm of 63 70 and 77 63 70 and 77 friends now let's do the lcm part so here what is the common divisor yes 7 is the common divisor 63 will go 9 times by 7 all right and now 70 is here so 70 will go 10 times by 7 right and 77 will go 11 times by 7 now we have 9 10 and 11 so look for any common divisor here well there is no common divisor so what we have to do is that now let's divide one number at a time okay so first i am going to divide 9 all right so 9 so 9 will go one time and these two 10 and 11 will stay the will stay same now i'm going to divide 10 so here we go mm -hmm. 10 okay so this is 1 and this will be 1 and now 11 is left so i'll divide 11 now and now we have got 1 so we have done the division part let's find the lcm so for lcm what we need to do okay lcm is equal to now we need to multiply these numbers so 7 into 9 that is 63 and 63 into 10 is 630 and 630 into 11 that is 6930 that means 
the LCM will be 6930, alright? So, we have got our LCM that is 6930. Now, what we have to do? Now, nothing, we have got our, uh, we have got our distance. So, what is the distance? 6900 centimeters, okay? So, answer will be what? So, the answer will be 6930 centimeters, alright? So, that means that these three boys need to walk 6930 uh, 6, centimeter so that they can cover the distance in complete steps. So friends, this much for today. Hope you like it. Also, today is Diwali. So I wish you all a happy, happy Diwali. Also, don't go out of your house because this is a pandemic time. And also, don't burn firecrackers. A little bit of them are fine, but not like big bombs. Those are very big and will make a lot of pollution. So, a happy Diwali again to you all and stay home, stay safe. Bye-bye.